you're watching the replay, I'm just going to wait for people to get in. This is a live stream. So um, while I go back and find out, see if I can find up the name of the person who inspired tonight. There we go. Okay. Hi, Mindy. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to play tonight. Hi, Janet. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Mina. Y'all are good. I appreciate y'all being willing to switch from seven to six. Um, tell me what y'all think about that. If enough people are okay with it, I may do that on a permanent basis. Um, by the time I get through starting at seven, it's pretty late. <laughs> and uh, so I'm thinking about changing to six. Let me know what you think. I'll ask again later and see what other people think. But um, okay. Thanks, Janet. Oh, well, mean is good. That's good. Hi, Kathy. Honey, it's so good to see you. Well, I'm glad you're resubbed, but yeah, face um, YouTube is not not sending out email notifications anymore. They're only sending them out through Google notifications, which um, is completely different, and that's kind of frustrating. It's frustrating for me because I like getting those emails, <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm mean is any time's good with her. Okay. Hi, Holly. Well, I just decided that um, I might want to do it a little earlier. And I thought I would give it a trial run tonight and see what people think. <clears throat> so. I'm not sure who it was. I didn't go back and look, but somebody posted a video about painting with coffee from a YouTube channel named Mix It Up Marcy. I have since subscribed to Marcy and watched two or three of her videos on playing with coffee. And that's what I'm going to do tonight is play with coffee. <laughs> she got me inspired. So um, if it was you that, that um, posted that in my group on Facebook, let me know because somebody tagged me even and um i appreciate it i love seeing new things um anyway i'm gonna i we're gonna play with it a little bit thank you kathy that was sweet of you i appreciate it hi cheryl I'm glad you're here Okay, I'm going to, um, I've got some watercolor paper here that uh, went to a estate sale over the weekend and they had some, um, they had five sheets, big sheets of watercolor paper. Three of them were arches and two of them had no name whatsoever on them. So I don't know what brand they were, but I bought them and I gave two of the arches to Hannah and then I broke down the other three. So that's what I'm going to play on tonight. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy this, but I would I wanted to do something I didn't spend a lot of money on, but I wanted to work on watercolor paper. And so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, some of these, this kind of paper, these were the no brand that I didn't know what brand they were, but they bend really nicely. The arches, when you bend it, it starts to crack on one side. So... Um, and they're old, so it may be the age thing, not the brand thing. But anyway, I may make little journal covers. Um, here's one that I 
folded from this size paper and I really like that. And then this one I folded from the bigger paper and just make little one signature journals with maybe coffee dyed paper or something inside. So it kind of goes with the theme, but I'm going to start practicing on these papers because I'm not going to make journal covers out of them. So, <laughs> um, Oh, thank you, Janet. I was going to, I'll put the, the link to mix it up Marcy with Marcy. Um, in the description box below, but thank you for putting it on here. I appreciate it. Anyway, one, what she did was she used instant coffee and she made it three different strengths and then she made a paste. So that's what I'm going to do. But I decided to also try it with um, instant tea because I have that too. And these, um, I bought these thinking I was going to use them to coffee dye papers and I never do. I just use the leftover coffee, you know, but, um, yeah, Susan, that was a good find. I paid a dollar 50 a sheet for them. So, um, I got all of these, um, all of these little pieces that I, you know, cut up. I got that for four fifty. So I thought that was really a great deal. Um, yeah, instant coffee is not cheap. She uses Nescafe, I think she said, but I'm going to use this great value brand because it's what I have. But, um, anyway, we're going to see how it goes. Hi, Malaya. So good to see you. <coughs> Excuse me. Good grief. <clears throat> Hi, Lori. I'm glad you're here. Susan, I'm glad you're here too. I answered you, I answered your comment, but I didn't say hi to you. So I'm I'm glad you're here. Dollar Tree sells instant coffee. That's good to know. Um, I only got one of these, but I probably need another one for the tea to make tea paste too, shouldn't I? So I can try both. Hmm. I also need a measuring cup of spoons. I didn't bring that meant to but i didn't i'm gonna look over here oh no i'm not because there's stuff in front of that and oh well maybe maybe i can get to it nope i can't not without dumping stuff in the floor so i'm gonna run in the house and get some um measuring spoons i'll be right back I also just realized I didn't get out a thing for paste um, for tea. So, hi, Andrea. Hi, Beth. Hi, Sharon. I'm glad y'all are all here. We're going to play um, with some instant coffee and tea. And I'm going to put, I think, the tea on one side. And the coffee on the other side and my water in the middle okay now she used I don't know how much coffee she used so I'm going to use a tablespoon for this one and then a teaspoon for this one and half a teaspoon for this one. <laughs> I 
that's, that's how we're going to do it. And that's the coffee. Oh, this is instant iced tea. Um, it's just some I bought to dye papers with, but then I, I used it once and I decided I liked using, um, you know, regular tea better. So I haven't ever used it again. So I decided, um, that I'm going to do, I'm going to try this with coffee and with tea. Marcy just used coffee, but you know, I can't do anything exactly the way someone else does it. So, <laughs> I'm not going to worry about the paste yet because um, she says you need to do that right when you're ready to use it because it... Um, It dries out real quick because you're just basically barely getting it wet. Oh, that's good to know, Andrea. I haven't drank instant tea in so long. Um, oh, goodness. I was probably a teenager the last time I had any that was instant. Uh, you know, one of those church pot luck things. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to put three tablespoons of water in each one of these. We may have to adjust it later, but I want, um, I want to be consistent with that because it's going to give me, hopefully, three different strengths to paint with which will be basically like having three different colors. And I did get kind of warm water just out of the tap to do this. I thought it would probably, whoops, mix up better. Goodness. Okay, let's... Kind of overdid that one. As it as the water level goes down, it gets sloppier coming out. Okay. Now then, we'll see how it goes. Oh, for sure, Janet. Homemade iced tea is definitely definitely much better. Now I'm just gonna take this and stir it. Uh, she did a lot of things. Um, besides just painting with it. And we may play with some of those too. But the main thing I was interested in was using it to paint with. Um. Ah, that's interesting, Kathy. Interesting. I don't buy country time either. Um, but that is interesting. Okay, I'm going to start... Okay, let's do a different one because I did something on that one earlier. So I'm going to start with the, um, the lightest color of coffee. And I'm going to just make some leaves. Just to 
kind of get an idea of what it does. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect them to a stem. Okay, we're going to let that sit there a minute. And we're going to do see what tea will do. Okay, so the tea is a little bit lighter than the coffee, but not a whole lot. It probably doesn't make much difference whether you use tea or coffee. Whoops, I should have. Well, well. Anyway, I just thought I'd dab in a little bit of Ooh, that's looking kind of pretty, isn't it? Let's try it with the tea. Hi, Denise. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Suzanne. It's good to see you. Okay. Well, you can tell a difference between the coffee and the tea, but they're both really pretty, so I don't guess it really matters which one you use. Um, I'm going to do, let's do something here with the middle, the middle amount of coffee and tea. I didn't do anything with the middle, so... Okay, there's, there's coffee, the middle strength, and there's the middle strength of tea. I guess I should, let me set this aside. I should probably, let's, we'll use this one for that. <clears throat> Do kind of a swatch. Where's my, there it is. <laughs> Where's my napkin? Okay, we're going to start with this one. And do do a swatch. Okay, there's three different coffees. Let's see what the teas are like. Okay. There's not a whole lot of difference between these two. 
Um, but there's definitely difference here. And I think there's more difference between the middle coffee than there is the middle tea, which means if you're using tea, you might want to add, um, add a little more. So maybe I should label them. That's a really good idea, actually, Cheryl. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is coffee. And this is tea. And let's pull this one back down and do the same thing. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll just set those set those aside. Um Yeah, the swatches were are a pretty good test. I should have done that to the begin with, but I didn't think of it. Okay, so I want to, um, let's do a middle size coffee. Um, leaf. I like leaves. They're simple. One thing she said, when you're testing them, you might want to go off the edge because if you tear your papers, it might pool on the edge. Plus, it just looks cool to um, have some of them going off the edge. Let's make this the stem of this one. Yeah, I've never thought about doing this either. It kind of makes you think, well, you know, how come I never thought of that? <laughs> because we needed Marcy to help us think of it. I haven't watched any of her other videos yet, but I'm looking forward to, um, to watching her other stuff. Okay. And she also does some, when she what, starts getting this, she uses it to wet her paper and then work into, which is a good idea. So, oh, that looks like fun, Beth. I need to go back and watch that too. Okay. Um, actually, I think I want to. No, let's just use this one because she does um, some stuff with a with a paste, and I'll do some of that in a minute. Those look really pretty, don't they? Haven't got any details yet. We're just doing a little bit of shading. But they're looking good. So this is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm glad you subscribed to her, Sherry. Hi, Roy. So good to see you. Oh, I bet that would be fun. Um... I bet that would be fun. I'd like to see it, Roy. I'd like to see it. Okay, I want to do... Um, one of the things that she did, she was just making circles. She just kind of wet the circles down first. 
she was just kind of showing, you know, how that it, um, that it will stay, you know, in a certain place if you don't um, blend your circles to each other. So these two I'm going to put together and maybe a third one. That was not very circly. I probably should have used um, some, there we go, we'll go ahead and kind of fill that one in a little bit, some more coffee, um, the light coffee instead of just the dirty water to um, start this with. So that the circles themselves would show up better. Hey, Barbara, it's good to see you. <clears throat> yes, it's watercolor paper. Um, she said to use watercolor paper or mixed media paper. And I had got this really cheap at an estate sale. So I decided I wanted to use it. I thought it would be fun to make some little journals and do covers on them. But right now I'm just using, so far I've just used the arches paper. I don't know what this paper is because these sheets didn't have anything printed on them. Um, no watermark or anything. So we'll, We'll play with them in a minute and see how they compare. But um, I do want to make some of this paste that she. <laughs> oh, I have water on that. That would not be really great. That's probably way too much. <laughs> way too much. But, oh, well, you can reconstitute it and use it in a week if you want to she said she's left her sitting there for several weeks and it doesn't um it dries out you just add water and go for it again that's ooh, that's probably too much first i had too much um too much coffee and then i added too much water so it's probably not going to be the paste that she had but um well, maybe one thing she said about you know using it where it's kind of a little bit of a paste it's thicker it's not really a paste but it's thicker kind of like some acrylics are thicker than other acrylics um, is that you can use, you know, you can do real detail stuff with it because it's thicker and it, it doesn't spread as fast. So now that I definitely need that much water, I think. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we. Put in some of this paste. <laughs> Hi, Linda. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Teresa. I'm glad you're here. <coughs> OK, 
Yeah, that was still too wet, so we're just going to let it be a, a spot on the spot. This is really fun. It smells good, too. <laughs> okay. So let's just do a circle here that's just done with the paste. See what happens if we just put some water on it. Um, there's a paper towel. Let's just see if we. Okay, that kind of took away the organic feel of it. So let's let's erase that. <laughs> let's erase that. It would look good on a giraffe. It sure would. It sure would, Beth. I nominate you to do a giraffe. <laughs> I made a brown snowman. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're just going to let this set for now. Oh, let's do one other thing that she, that she did that we all like. So let's just go ahead. I mean, you can't say no to some splatters. Okay. There we go. Even better. But now I need to <laughs> wipe some of those up. Dip my fingers in the clear water and flick it. Hmm. Do you want me to do that on top of that? All right. Let me get it back. Let me get it back. All right. Very cool. We're going to let that dry, too. I like it, Linda. Thanks. That adds a whole whole other element there. You used your stamps. Interesting. Now, I, um, I thought it would be fun to use a stencil. I hadn't thought about using a stamp. Hmm. I thought we might um, might try this. I don't know if it'll work. You know how it'll work. If it'll be good or bad or I think I got too much Maybe too much water. I don't know. We won't know till we do it. Since it's watercolor paper, maybe it'll soak in quickly and look nice. I don't know. But this is experiment day, so...
she used some stencils that she um, made from hot glue, which would, um, you know, stick to the paper good. And so it wouldn't let stuff get underneath it. So this may not work as well as, as that. But anyway, we're going to see what it does. Well, it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. So do, um, so I'm thinking about this stamp thing. She's got me thinking. She's got me thinking about stamps. Let's do some of this, um, since it's. I don't know. We're just gonna let it sit. We will. We will find out. Um. Thanks, Andrea. Okay, I'm trying to think about what um, what stamps to use and so did you dip the stamps in the tea? How did or coffee? How did you how did you use um Ooh, I'm sorry. Got everything all crooked here. How did you use your stamps? Um, I need a, some help. I love this little owl. He says, a wise man once said, follow your dreams, except the one where you're at work in your underwear. <laughs> I haven't ever used it, but I like it. Goodness gracious, it does not want to come off of here. Okay, wow. Okay, this is a serious issue here. I don't use watercolor on my stamps, so I don't know what that's like either, Andrea. It probably is like that. So tell me, Lori, how do you do it? And I'm going to see if I can get this stamp. Good grief. I have never, ever encountered this before. Oh, I missed your comment above. Okay, sorry. All I see is I use the same concept, but I used my stamps. Um, I'm afraid I'm a little too dense to understand what that means. <laughs> that doesn't help me enough. <laughs> That doesn't help me enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Painted the paste on the stamp. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you.
All right, let's see if we can get this to work. <laughs> oh, dear. Hi, Tonya. We're painting with coffee. And right now we're going to see if we can use a stamp. And I think that I got way too much here. And I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're just going to we're just going to play with it and see. It isn't meant to give a crisp image. Well, it won't. <laughs> the little owl turned out cute. The butterfly turned out cute. The ladybug, um, ladybug was too difficult to see. We'll see what our ghost image will be like. Thanks, Tanya. Yeah, we're making a mess. <laughs> oh, that's better. The second one's better. Except the ladybug's still near. Okay, that was interesting. I can cut these out and use them on something. Um, it might be fun to do some more butterflies. <clears throat> oh, we'll be praying for you, Tanya. Stay safe. I hope you can continue to make your appointment. Yeah, these are tea. And these are coffee. And this is a coffee paste. And this is my clean water. Um, let's, let's take off the other ones and just use the butterfly a few more times. Okay, let's. <laughs> okay let me see instead of painting the stamp put the stamp down on top of some coffee put the paper towel folded in the coffee to make a stamp pad okay Wow. All right. I don't want to spend a ton of time on on this part, but I do want to um, see if I can do that. It's like, you know, it's not like I don't have more coffee. <laughs> I have plenty of coffee, so let's find another paper towel. Okay. Okay, do I have a flat plate? Um, I don't know that I do. But I do have a, um, a big container. 
bigger container that I think my I can get a stamp down in. Let me find it real quick. I think that one's big enough. Let's see. try some of these. <laughs> Let's just stick it down in there. We can make some more painty paste over there in a minute. Let's see how this works. Ooh. Let's try this one. We won't press it down so far, so hard. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. I think I might need to. Okay, that was probably a little much, but we're going to do it again anyway. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> we double up on it here. if we can get a third one on here. Yeah, this is one of the ones that I carved during Carve December. Both of these. Okay, those turned out pretty cool. I like this one the best, but I like that stamp better, so. Those will be fun to use. <coughs> Thank you, Barbara. Let me see if I can, let's, let's put this up here a little bit. Let's do one. Right here, all by itself. That looks good. Thanks, Tanya. I think I just drew it on and then carved it, Teresa. I don't think it was, you know, a, you know, anything special. Um,
Go ahead and see if we can clean this off a little bit. I do too, and I was really pleased with how it, how it turned out. I don't think I really expected it to come out that good. <laughs> Oh, Linda, I'm sorry you're having vehicle troubles. I absolutely understand. We have been too. So has Tanya. It's like an epidemic running around car troubles. Thanks, Janet. Okay. Let's clean this one off a little bit, too. Okay, well, that was fun. Um, let's do... Where's that butterfly? We're going to try to add a butterfly here. I don't know. I don't know. Let's clean everything else off. That worked pretty good. Let's do another one. We may have to do three butterflies. Okay, that turned out so cute. Uh, sure. This was Sully from um, Monsters, Inc. <laughs> That's the eraser I used. It was just one of those thin erasers from Dollar Tree. I know, it's really cool, isn't it, Kathy? Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> okay, that one's going to turn into a card or something. Okay. I want to go back here. Oh, I got this now. guess we need to do something else with it for a little while. <laughs> do something else with it because... Let's make, we'll make another card. Let's make another card. I just cleaned that off, but we're going to use it again anyway. Well, we'll try. We'll try. Let me do some little butterflies on here first. There we go. There's another one.
I think I want to go ahead and try this little guy again this way. And then we will try the words that go with him. Um, okay. I'm going to put him kind of in the middle. Not great, but not too bad. Okay, now let's get his words. If I can get them off the paper. Okay, Gloria, I'll do that in just a minute. I'll have to look in a minute, Holly, because I didn't see your comment about the mushrooms, so I'll have to. I'll have to look and see if I can answer whatever it was you were saying. I don't know. That may be too much. Words may not work as well. No. <laughs> Words didn't work as well. All right. We're going to try it again. Um, above him and see if. Well, you can almost read it. You can read follow dreams except work in your underwear. <laughs> uh, so if you know what it says, you can read it. So let's do see if we can get the wise when wise man once said part. Oh, you're talking to Andrea. Okay, good. Then I don't have to I don't have to wonder what you said. I'll just let Andrea figure it out. Yeah, words aren't good to do this with. So if you make your little guy out of something else and then you can come back and Add the words. <laughs> oh. But the little, um, the little guy's cute. Oh, bye, Barb. I didn't even, I don't think I even realized she was here and now she's left already. Okay. Let me find another stencil that might, um, Let's try one of these. I want to do 
I was thinking it might be fun to put a butterfly on here. But I do want to do some detail work on that. So let's let's just try. Butterflies on here. don't have much of the paste left <laughs> I can make more though it's cheap and easy to make mm, no it still goes under it's just it is liquidy enough that it still it still goes under now if I had a dabber we could try that let me try that instead of a brush um, oh. okay let's try the da the dauber method Okay, this is the way to do it, y'all. This is the way to do it. Oh, it still leaks under. Still leaks under. And I did clean that off before I tried it. So it looked like it did a better job, but it's watercolor paper, so it just spreads out. Okay, we were going to talk about edging. We might as well try this. We'll use our little dauber. And I'm using the paste. Um, so I would say yes, it works great. <laughs> Um, I don't know if we did it with a much lighter touch, if that would work or not. Let's try this little one. Now, see, I did it with a very light. It just spreads because it's watercolor paper. If you did it on regular paper, it might work. Let's try that. Let's try it on regular paper because it won't spread. Now it still spreads. Let's try it with one that's mostly dry and see. Let's try it again. The more we dry off this, the more, more it might work. Yeah, I don't think this is a, I mean, it it got it to where it was okay once it was very, very dry. But I don't think I, it would take so much to get it dry that I don't know if it's worth um, all the trouble it takes to do this rather than to use ink. Now, if you, um, if you don't have any ink and you don't mind spending hours and hours trying to dry that, 
try it out before you get it, you know. I mean, literally, I haven't dipped it back in the ink in like seven prints. And see if I just barely touch it. That's a little bit better if you just barely touch it. It really looks better on camera than it does in real life. Um, yeah, you could mix it with, um, with whatever you want. And I'm sure you could do a lot of things with it. One of the things that she, that, um, Marcy did that I wanted to try, um, and I might figure out a way to use those because they are butterfly shaped. We might can ink over them or something. Um, oh, wait, I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work or not. Oh, no, this was a stencil. Yeah, the stencil might work. Let's try it. Okay, um, where did I put my, okay, let's put a little bit of just plain water on this, and then I need another one to dry off with. Okay, I don't think this will work either because it'll have the same problem with it going underneath, but it might work to dab off. Because we can only dab off where the stencil is. That really didn't help it much. think maybe if I let it sit on there a minute and then dab it off that'll work better let's try it Okay. Yeah, that I've helped a little bit on both of them, but not enough to make it worth the trouble. <laughs> not enough to make it worth the trouble. At least that's my way of thinking. Okay. Let me find a tiny little brush. And we're going to do some details. Uh, surely I have one. with this um, paste. So we can do some kind of detail work on it. So, hi, Mary. We're glad you're here. I'm playing with coffee. <laughs> Painting with coffee.
So that looks kind of cool. Bye, Denise. Thanks for coming in. Well, I don't know if Marcy will ever know that I saw her videos and played with this, but thank you. I don't know why I never even thought about painting with, um, with coffee, but I never thought about it. Okay, let's um, let's go ahead and do some detail on these. I didn't make a paste out of the tea. I'm sure you could. For those of you that are just in here, I painted these with tea and these with coffee. So you can do this with either one. Oh, um, mix it up with Marcy, I think is the name of her channel. Let me mix it up, Marcy. Mix it up, Marcy. Oh, thank you, Janet. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of detail work on these with coffee, even though they were tea. <laughs> I don't think they care too much. No, got to do this one while we're doing it. So there's that. Oh, here's what this looks like through the stencil. It looks like coffee through a stencil. But I, I think it's cool. It'd be a great background for something. And then here's the one with the dots and circles that we splattered coffee on and then we splattered water on. So that's fun. Here's our um, the diff three different depths of coffee and tea. Um now I've forgotten what you call that. Swatch. That's it. Swatch. <laughs> and here's where we use stamps. That turned out pretty cute. This was our... Let me find it. Uh, this was our first one. And um, we figured out less is more. And so that turned out pretty cute. Okay. Um trying to think what else I wanted to try oh she did let me find if I have one surely I have one she used a toothbrush that was fun I think I last used this toothbrush to flick white paint so it's got a little bit of white paint in it thanks Janet but we're gonna <laughs> if 
We're going to use our ink pad here. She was making kind of a wood grain. Which I thought was kind of cool. That's kind of fun. And I wonder if you could give it some knots. <laughs> there we go. We put some knots in our wood. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Stick that in the water too. And she did some different techniques with um, one with gesso, which I want to try here in a little bit, and one with. Um, some with salt and the, um, well, let's, we can do this one. I think my, um, my coffee crystals, I think are bigger than hers were, which will make a difference. Um, we're going to do kind of a, a middle grade tea here. Okay. And then she just put some coffee on it, let it sit there and kind of soak in. One of them, she actually put salt on there at the same time. So it was pulling the water away with the salt and adding more um, color with the tea, with the coffee. So that was kind of fun. And, um, so where did my, oh, I think that one's fun. That one's going to turn out real good. I'm just going to leave it alone until it dries because I, I like the um, the way those are bleeding out. I like those. I'm running out of space to put things. Um, okay. Let's turn this box upside down and we set things on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was really cool, wasn't it? Um. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, we can just use this one big. It's okay. Um, I was trying to think of what else she did that would be fun. One thing that might be fun, let's um, water that down a little bit. Use the lighter coffee. She didn't do it exactly like this, and I think it was her I saw do this. I'm not sure. I may be getting something mixed up with someone else. Um, so, Marcy, forgive me if I got you mixed up with someone else. You did so many different things. But um, of course, she used a mug.
Okay, like that. And those will kind of spread a little bit too. They look a little bit too um, organized. We don't want them to look that organized. So let's, there we go. That helps a little bit. And I'm um, actually, let me see if I can reactivate this. <laughs> Our paste. <laughs> okay, now let's see if we can get it to, oh, it's. Okay, that wasn't as dark as I thought it would be. Um, I don't know that I would want to make a bunch of things like this with, you know, wasting watercolor paper to do this. Now, one thing that Marcy does is that she um, she makes these and makes digitals out of them. So if you're doing that, you know, making digitals out of them, then you're getting more um, more bang for your buck out of your watercolor paper. But and she does use mixed media paper, which is cheaper. So that's good. Um, I'm not sure that I'm that impressed with this one. So we may move on to, uh, um, okay, let me do this real quick. See if we can get it to stick down. I don't like that bowing. Okay. I do want to try the gesso, um, The gesso thing. So for this one, I'm not going to use, um, I'm not going to use watercolor brush because I don't want to mess it up, but she used her water and got things pretty. Like this. Then she got the gesso and she just put it in. Might want more. I don't know. I don't know how much she used. Um, and then she used the brush. Okay. I forgot a step. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work. The point of the granules was to give it more. Um, Yeah, this I don't know what she did. I did it wrong. Whatever it was, I did it wrong. <laughs> Let me find a different cut for that. Because I know she got it to look like wood.
All right, let me make a little bit more of that pasty stuff. This will, this will have some, um, a little bit of gesso in it, but I don't think that's a big deal. I don't want to use the brush part, this watercolor brush, because there is some gesso in this now. But, ooh, sloppy, Lisa. All right, let me clean this up just a little bit. Ooh, ooh, dripping it might be good. <laughs> Let's just try that. Might end up looking like some kind of science experiment. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Okay, this is what it looks like up close. Let me go set this one over there to dry before it runs everywhere. I kind of like the coffee gesso idea, though. Um, I think that'd be pretty on paper. Just to gesso your paper if you're doing, you know, if you like the vintagey stuff like I do. <coughs> Oh, just a second. What did I do with that brush? Okay. I want to try something. I may mess it up. I think it'll make the grain... Okay, we'll see what that turns into. Bye-bye, <coughs> 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 Barbara. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I'm trying to remember what else I was wanting to do. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. With the coffee and tea. Before I um, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> We're just using the lightest color coffee right now, getting it wet. We're doing a coffee wash, <laughs> a coffee wash, and okay, so what was, 
What was my plan? I already forgot what it was. I already forgot what it was. I think you're right, love, uh, Malaya. And that's what I was really, um, that was what I was trying to do, but I didn't do it very well. Execution on that was poor. <laughs> Thought those might be fun to doodle on later. Starbucks would be expensive color, but it probably would make good color. My daughter would probably think that's a good thing to do with Starbucks. She, I don't drink coffee. I just play with it. But my daughter likes coffee, but she doesn't care for Starbucks. Um, <laughs> she might think it was okay to use in art, though. All right. I think I'm going to leave that like that because we don't have any idea what it'll actually look like when it dries. Don't have any idea. Okay. Oh, I remember. I remember she used a fork, which I thought was a lot of fun. I don't think I have a fork out here, though. Uh, I think I want to try this, so I'm going to run in and get one. I'll be right back. I'll put the lid on this or I'm going to end up dropping it everywhere. Okay, here's an old camping fork that came from Dollar Tree. I think I can afford to make it into an art fork now. Hi, Candy. I'm glad you're here. 
Okay, bye, Susie. I'm glad you came. At about 8.10. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Susan. I love weaving things. <laughs> this one really appealed to me. one's fun don't you think she splattered it it's already mostly splattered so I think I'll splatter a little more a little more splatters maybe that's too many splatters oh well I think it needs to be splattered with something else let's try this That way they look more like splatters and less like I messed up. Now she did, I don't know if she used um, the paste or if she just used the water, but I think she used the paste. Anyway, it looks really cool. It'll have to sit for a while. Okay, yes. Well, let's try that. Okay, let's put some gesso and something else. <laughs> Where's my... Okay. Let's do it a little bit more. Um, I'm just going to use this to mix it up because because I've got it here. I don't remember how much how much she used and she may have painted I don't know if she painted with a brush or her fingers or what but I'm going to use this because I've got it already messed up And this may still be nothing like what she did, you know. <laughs> oh, may still be like. 
like nothing like what she did. But that's okay. She got to play. Now I get to play. <laughs> All right. Now then, toothbrush. Okay. There's that. Now, one of them I saw, she actually sprinkled some dried coffee on onto that as well. But one of them she didn't, so. Um, I think I like this one just like that, so I'm going to leave it alone. We'll see how it compares to the other one that we did where we mixed it up too much. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, I'm having fun. I'm glad you're having fun. Uh, one thing I wanted to try was um, a really big leaf. Probably should use my bigger brush. It almost looks like lips. It's not supposed to be lips, y'all. <laughs> we'll make that go all the way off so it's a stem. There we go. Looks more like a leaf now. And um, let's do some of this. And we'll put in some of this darker coffee from the it's not as coffee, it's not as dark as the, um,
Okay. I'm thinking I like that pretty good. But you never know what it's going to look like when it dries. Let's go ahead and darken up this side. Okay, let's see how that, I think that's really pretty. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I think it's really pretty. <laughs> I'm having a blast here. I'm having a blast. I'm running out of room again, where to put stuff, so. Okay, I'm going to try one more. Thing. Uh oh. I'm not very good at painting flowers, so this is going to be whatever it is. Um, That well, looks a little bit flowerish, doesn't it? <laughs> sort of, maybe. <laughs> oh. Too much white space, I think.
I don't know if that makes it better or worse to get rid of some of the white space. Are y'all still there? Are y'all still there? Haven't seen chat move in a while. Hey, it's instant coffee. In your candle. Oh, yeah, and the candle. I forgot about the candle. Oh. Is this stamping? Yeah, yeah, it didn't work too great, but sort of. I think it's cute. <laughs> oh, your mushrooms did wonderfully. Thank wow. you. Those are lovely. I can't decide if I like that or not. I like it. Also, those are really easy to go to overboard on. Yeah, well, I think I did. <laughs> no, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay, I'll stop now then. <laughs> what you got? I just thought you might want to see some of my sketches. I do. If y'all want to see some of Hannah's sketches? These are the ones I did all today. You haven't seen them yet, so I suppose you should. Okay. Ooh, if I can get them in here without touching anything. I think I, we need to come up closer and show them a little bit at a time. That one, I liked the pose on too much to try and do more to. Yeah, I really I like that one too. Touchy. This one I think actually turned out the best, which is like the, the first. So what is this one? That's just someone in a coat that's clearly to be for them to do. Yeah, that. trying to stay warm is what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> did you take a good look at <laughs> Yeah, I did. I like I like this one. I don't know if y'all can see that. Probably not very good. Her face is is hard for y'all to see, but I can see that looks really good. It's okay. What else? Oh, seen those. Oh, and I'll get to the. Uh, Here's somewhere she used um, colored pencils. Uh -huh. Some she's been playing on this toned paper. Okay, I haven't seen. Um, chat hasn't moved in a while. I got to see what's going on. Just a second. Okay, I got I got a Facebook from Beth asking if I see her typing in chat, and no, I don't. I don't see anything after I love this Lisa by Janet and that's cool by Holly. Um, that's the last thing I see. Um, if you can hear me, that's the last thing I see on chat. If you can't hear me, I need to go to Facebook and see if I can figure out, see what people are saying. Sorry. Oh, I got all these things in the way. Okay. Okay, Tanya says chat's working just fine for them, so my chat's locked up. Okay. And Beth you, says I hear you. Do you see me typing in chat? No, I don't. Can you refresh all screen? I don't know. Tanya can see Beth. So it's just me. Okay. I don't know how to, um, I don't think I can refresh. I think if I do, I'll, I'll end up, um, going off. Beth doesn't see anyone typing in chat. Tanya, do you, uh, that's really weird. Can you see me, Beth, or just hear me? I mean, have you been seeing, did you see me paint this somewhat sort of flower? <laughs> I'm 
try changing from top chat to live chat and then back. Well, um, okay, when I popped out chat, I could see it. Let's see if I restore chat. When I restore chat, it goes right back to where it was. I can't go. Live chat's the only option I have. Um, and then pop out chat. But I can see you if I pop out the chat. So let me see if I can move that over here. And maybe I can keep up with what's going on this way. Okay. Okay. Teresa can't see the chat moving. I see Beth and Tanya and Nashua. Hi, Nashua. <clears throat> so everybody refresh and go back, come back in and see if y'all can see each other. Um, and I'm just going to keep going because I don't know what else to do. I had some other things. There are one more pages if you don't want to. That's okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Mm, Thanks I for showing you. us what you did. I enjoyed it. Uh, and I get a hug. And you get a hug always. Always hug. <laughs> Hannah's sketches are awesome. I don't know if she heard that. She just left. I don't know what I'm doing with this, but you sent me a private message. Okay. I'll look at it. Well, I can see you now that I've got chat popped out. So, um, oh, I lost it now. Okay, let's go back to pop out chat. There we go. Hannah's paper is toned paper um, sketchbooks from Hobby Lobby. I think they're Strathmore, but I'm not positive about that. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, sorry, Linda. Um, Michael's probably would have them. I'm sure you could find them on Amazon as well. I need some more um, clean water. My clean water is not clean anymore. <clears throat> she is. She's um, she's a good little artist. I'm, I'm proud of her. I'm glad that she's able to um, pursue that. When I was her age, I... I didn't have time to pursue that. So I'm glad that she's able to do it. Okay. I feel like this needs a little something else. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, try Amazon. Um, they usually have everything. They're like the Mikey store. <laughs> Okay. Um, I feel like I need to do maybe a vine. Maybe a vine. Let's try that. Oh, thank you, Glenda. I'm glad you were able to come. I caught some that really have a lot of water in them. going for a dinner plate <laughs> oh okay enjoy some dinner i thought you meant this was looking like a, a dinner plate because i was doing vines around it <laughs> took me a minute to figure out what you were really saying susan sorry and my vines kind of changing angles as we go. I'm not being very consistent about it. Well, I never would have thought I would spend a whole evening painting with coffee but um but i'm having fun i hope y'all are enjoying it going into lark mode okay thanks tanya Uh, Tanya, are we still planning to do um, use up scraps in a book tomorrow? Is that still is that still our plan? Oh, thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Holly. <coughs> I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I might play, just play yesterday was so much fun. But yes, we should play with, oh, playing with scraps is good enough for me. I don't care what we do with it. Um, I don't have a specific book that I've chosen to put them in. But um, I definitely need to be 
doing something with my scraps. So that works for me. Okay. Um, let's try putting some. May have just made this even less. I was trying to put some stamens in the middle, but um, that may not have. You know, once they've been open this big for a while, they get. A center on them. I don't know. I probably should have left that alone. Could do more in my mystery box. Yeah, I could do that. Well, one thing I'm going to do is get, I'm going to get all my current scrap boxes and put them in one box and I may just go through them and sort them tomorrow. I don't know. Decide what to keep and what to get rid of. Oh, Holly, I'm sorry. I hope you get better quick. Okay, um, put your thumb and pick up some, okay, just a second, this is not, um, pick up some of that and make it more soft. Is that better? Okay, I think that I'm through playing with that one. Uh, yeah, I guess. I think it doesn't look a whole lot different. It looks a little different. Um, so I think that's good. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. That might end up being the front, I mean the cover I might fold it in half and make it a cover of a little journal. I don't know. Um, I meant to do um, to do some on this other paper. I need to do that. Um, do some on this other kind of paper. So I can use it for journal covers. Let me get some... Oh, I've got all these pieces of stuff everywhere. All this all this stuff we played, all the fun stuff we did. <laughs> okay, here's two of these. Let's just start with this one. And um And now I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Okay, let's... Um, I need a smaller one.
not sure what I think about those. This paper definitely soaks it up different from the other paper. Am I using the wrong side? No. Hi, Deborah. Yeah, I'm experimenting with painting with coffee and tea. This is a different kind of paper than what I had been working on. And I don't know if it's the technique that's the issue or if um, it's you know, me and the technique, or if it's the paper. But this isn't looking as nice. Um, it's like it spreads out, whereas the other paper, it stayed right where you put it. And this one's spreading. So it may just be the difference between arches paper and whatever kind of paper this is. <laughs> that may be what it is. See, it's soaking right through. So this is def definitely not um, as good a watercolor. This may not be watercolor paper. Maybe it's supposed to be used for something else. I don't know. When you buy it at a estate sale, you just kind of stuck with whatever you get. So let's, let's make some splashes on it. Okay, that looks better, don't you think? <laughs> that looks much better, but just make spots everywhere. <laughs> oh, dear. It is a, a huge difference between this and that other paper. So this may not be watercolor paper. So, hmm. I'll show you the difference, okay? Here's some leaves I made on the other paper. See how these leaves just went bleh, and these stayed where the way I made them? So that's the difference in the two papers. Um, so this might be um, good paper for a... You know, some kind of a, let's just put water all over it and then. Boy, it's soaking up that water like crazy. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what this paper's for, but it's not for watercolor. Um, anyway, we're going to, we're going to add some coffee to it and we're just going to coffee dye it that's what we're going to do we're going to coffee dye this paper <laughs> yeah. wow huh that's Okay, well, and now I know not to use watercolor on that other pa on this paper. So I guess I learned something. I learned something. I don't know what this paper is. <laughs> don't know what it is. But let's just let's just go ahead and do the back of it. So we have a whole watercolored piece of paper here.
in a few minutes, I'm going to put this up and work on my, um, my trip journal a little bit. Well, one thing's for sure, this is cheap um, entertainment if you just play with coffee. Because I got lots of coffee and tea left and I hardly, I didn't really use that much. So, I had a lot of fun. Now, I don't know how y'all feel about, about it, but. Okay, now I'm trying to think. This is a prettier side over here, so let's <laughs> let's let's work on this side. Coffee and tea night. Hi, Patricia. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, we're 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 glad, we're glad you're above ground. We're not dismayed by that at all, Deborah. You need to stay away from those other people. I don't like everyone if they if they bother you. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can just make some. Norma, I'm so glad you're here. I'll show you what we've been playing on in a minute. But I kind of like that. I'm trying to decide if I should do maybe some... Um, I'm experimenting and painting with coffee and tea. That's right. <laughs> this is mighty strong. This is what uh, Marcy at Mix It Up Marcy called paint, coffee paste. It's it's very, very, it's um, instant coffee with a little bit of water. <laughs> so we're just having fun with it. I'm wondering if I should do something else or if I should just um <laughs> This is paper. It's um I thought it was watercolor paper that I got at an estate sale. And I've been working on some that I got that I know was watercolor paper. It was Arches paper. I'll show you what I did there. Um, this was our different strengths of coffee, different strengths of tea. It obviously got splattered. And this was an attempt at some wood grain. This was using some stamps and stencils, which didn't work out so great. Stamps and a stencil. And just with some leaves and just some dot things. <laughs> and then um, some more of the stamps. And then I've got some over here that are still drying that I did with um, some other things. I know the salt will work, Janet. And um, I don't know if it'll work with this. 
but I know it would work with the um, with the watercolor paper. Man, that's very thick. It's very sticky. <laughs> Here are the other two wood grains I tried to do with gesso. This one kind of looks moldy. <laughs> I like that one, though. And this one I did with the paste and a uh, fork. And it's still very wet. And she said, when you do it this way, it stays shiny. So even when it's dry, this should look, will probably look shiny. And here's one that I got wet and then I sprinkled some of the dry um, instant coffee on it. And um, that's what it looks like. This one I just um, did some loose flower shapes that I will probably doodle on later. It, that really does look like giraffe spots, doesn't it? <laughs> and then this one I did kind of a flower thing. Um, and then this one I'm just playing with. This is a different kind of paper. I thought it was watercolor paper too, but um, I don't think it is. Because um, the water just soaks right into it like it does regular paper. But it's very thick paper. So it may have been for pastels. Because I know this lady worked in pastels as well as watercolor. So this might be pastel paper here. I don't know, Janet. Um, I know that if you put water on it, it reactivates the coffee on the watercolor paper. Just a second. Let me get this set aside here. Uh -oh. I also did this leaf. Um... Let's, I was going to see if I had one. Of, I was going to see if, no, I think I've got another piece of that paper. Let's just do this. Let's get another piece of the paper. And um, we will try Mod Podge over this and see if it spreads. I don't know what it'll do but um okay let me clean my hands a little bit they're really gross they would make good backgrounds i don't know if um i was trying to think if i had any salt out here it may have no i do have some okay <laughs> it's got dust on top shows I haven't used it okay let's break this one in half and we'll do half with alcohols on it and half with um, half with salt I do know one thing this arches watercolor paper was much easier to tear than that other paper, whatever it is. It was it was much more difficult. Okay, let's. Um, where's my big brush? Right here it is. Okay. And we want some fairly dark coffee if we're going to use the salt. And she put um, some rice. She used rice and noodles and all kinds of different things to make textures on her coffee papers. 
Um, Now I may have let that put that on when it was too wet. I know with watercolor, you're supposed to actually wait and let it um, soak in a little bit first. And I didn't do that. So anyway, let's set this aside. We'll come back and see if we can see what it's done later. Okay. And this one, we were going to alcohol. That's what we were going to do on this one. Okay. Let's move the salt out of the way. And alcohol. Oh. Hmm. I know I have some. sure this is alcohol. <laughs> it was too wet, I think. Because it's, um, it moved it some, but, um, Susan, we're glad you're back. I'm trying to do specific spots so you can see the results better. Okay, we're gonna let that sit too and see what it looks like when it's once it dries. And what was the other thing we were gonna do? Oh, Mod Podge something. Okay. See how this if it'll stay put when you Mod Podge it. Okay. Looks like celled under a microscope. Yeah, it does kind of. Uh, where did I put my other brush that I used? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there wasn't enough water in that to do any good. All right, I've got another another water jar here. Well. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's see.
Okay, it does smear. You can see it making streaks. Um, can you see it streaking? So I don't think, um, unless you like streaking, I don't think Mod Podge is a great idea on this. It's a cute streak. Yes, it is, Teresa. <laughs> so now we know you can if you don't mind a little streaking. Yeah. That would work better, I think. So, that'll be interesting to see what that looks like when it's um, dry. Okay, let's set that one aside. I'm running out of sides. Okay. Yeah, if you're wanting to put something on top of it, I would glue it down with a glue stick or uh, art glitter glue or something so that you're only putting glue behind what you're putting on it. Um, I think that would be a good plan. Okay, now I got I got some real real pretty coffee paste here. Let's try something. Um Okay, we're just going to see if we can paint on this paper, this is just paper that I dyed with my, um, I think this was the passion tea. Anyway, let's just see if we can paint. This is the woo. This is the paste I'm using. Um, I don't know. I'll check. I'll try the watercolor paints in a minute. But I think this has the best chance of. You know, a lot of the techniques that she was using, you have to spread things, and so she was saying, you know, be sure to use mixed media paper or watercolor paper. But this is um, actually, I think, working really well just to paint some, you know, you could do paint in a journal like this with this paste. And I went back and watched her video twice and watched a different video because she was calling this paste and I couldn't figure out what she mixed it with to make it a paste. And then um, it turned out that she was just calling it that because it's so thick. But see, it doesn't come through the paper. So it'd be real pretty to work on a journal page. Um, has she done a lift through a stencil? I don't know. I know one thing she did was lift, but I, I think it might work if you let it dry. I don't know. I tried to lift through a stencil and I couldn't get it to work, but it might be that um, 
all of it was too wet. If I had let it completely dry, then I think it might have worked. Nothing like having to go to the shops after my hair appointment and getting home feeling like a lump of poison. Oh, Julie, I'm so sorry. I hope that you will get revived pretty quickly and you won't continue to feel like a lump of poison. <laughs> get you out some instant coffee and <laughs> paint with it. <laughs> I'm really liking this painting with the coffee paste. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember her lifting through a stencil. Um, I know she did paint like she made highlights on um, some of her leaves. Well, I'll just show you in just a second um, what she did because it was kind of cool. Hey, that's fun. I like that. It looks like I'm painting with sepia ink. Susan, when I went, I went to get my hair cut and they had, they only allowed a certain number, like two, um, two people in there at a time. And they, I watched them clean everything before they moved to me. I think it's as safe or safer there than a lot of places. Um, yeah, I really like it. Um, Especially if you're doing it on something that you're not going to get wet, you know, because um, water does kind of reactivate it and Anyway, I think that's pretty. I think that's fun. That'd be fun to do on a journal page. Okay, Candy, thanks for coming. All right. Um, let me rinse that off. And move this and let's let's do this because this is kind of she used it to make highlights let me get a towel because okay and what she did was just go back and paint
See how that lifted off some? So if you can do that, looks like you could probably go through a, um, you know, through a stencil. Um, I was trying to see what I've got, what else I've got that's dry enough to try it. That's too dark. I don't think it would work. Let's see. Well, let's just stick a stencil on top of this leaf and try it just for kicks. Um, the thing is, I don't know, when I was trying it before, the water kept getting under the stencil, and so it didn't do a very good job of this when I tried it before. Um, let's try. Let's just do this. Well, let's see. Do I have a water spray bottle? Yeah, here we go. Let's just try this and see. Okay, let's lift that off. So you can see some right on this one, especially where it went through the stencil. Let's try. Um, let's just lay the stencil down on top of it. And, oh, <laughs> well, there we go. We went the other direction. Anyway, it works somewhat. If you had a, um, you know, a wash over a whole page and you tried that, it would probably work better. I don't have anything like that that we could try. We might could try on this one. Let's just try it. Make sure the back's dry. Because if it's wet, it's not going to do any good to spray water. <laughs> A more open stencil. Okay, let's see what we got. That's easy to get to here. Okay, where are those butterflies I used a bit earlier? Those would work good. Let's see. Where'd I put them? Huh. Where are you? Hmm. Okay. All right, we'll just use this one. that off before it goes underneath and I think it went ahead and went underneath ah that's a good idea baby wipe 
I haven't tried that, but that's a great idea. Okay. Well, you can see that it... It definitely pulled some up. But let's try the baby wipe right here or maybe right there. Um, where did I put that stencil? I put it back under here. You know? Good grief, Lisa. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, let's do that little B right there. Well, it bled under that too, even with the baby wipe. To get enough water on it to make it pick up, it kind of went underneath it. So spraying it probably works just as effectively. Um, let's try this little bee. I'm going to let it sit a minute. Maybe letting it sit longer will help it pull up more too. And maybe letting it sit longer is when it spreads out and it doesn't work. Well, it pulled up, but you can only sort of see the B shape. So, <laughs> Kathy had to go make a cup of coffee. <laughs> uh -huh. Schmetterling. Is that how you say that? Schmetterling? A little dish soap on a baby wipe. I don't think I have any dish soap out here. This is Arches water, excuse me, Julie, Arches watercolor paper. I got some at an estate sale, a big sheet for $1.50. And so I, um, I cut it up or tore it up and made um, pieces out of it. And that's what we've been working on. These were stamps. This was a stencil. We went through it with the coffee and then we went back through it with water and tried to lift off. These were stamps. This was with a toothbrush trying to make wood. <laughs> These are the different strengths of coffee and tea I had. And I didn't do much with tea because it was so similar. I just went worked with the coffee. This is tea and this is coffee. So you can see it works very similar. And these were some more stamps. Um, and then I also made these cards. You can't, words don't work very well, but the little owl worked and the mushroom worked. So, and um, let's see if we can, this was done with that coffee paste and a fork, and then I just splattered it. It's still not dry. That paste takes a long time to dry. And this was uh, done where I, 
I want put a wash over it with coffee and then I sprinkled more um, instant coffee. You just used instant coffee. That way you can get your different strengths easy. And so I sprinkled some more instant coffee over it. You can see some of it has, you know, hasn't really dried or dissolved yet. And some of it has. So it's like the opposite of putting salt on watercolor. This one is still wet, so I can't take the salt off, but this is one where we put salt on it. We put a pretty dark wash of coffee and then put salt on it. The forks, yeah, I love the forks. And then this was just uh, some watercolor paintings. My attempt at a flower. And here's another leaf, a big leaf. Now that one might be fun to try to lift something off with. Um, I'm wondering... Um, that's probably a good idea, Mary, but I can't be around Clorox fumes. Um, they affect me a lot. So I don't even, ha I don't even own any, <laughs> I don't even own any. I'm trying to decide if I, if I really want to do this or not, because I really like that leaf. You know me, Mary. You know me. <laughs> um, a water droplet. I could do that. Or or some water droplets. Let's just do this. Um, this would be a good time for the... We can make the... Um, Okay, let me get a clean paper towel because well, you can tell that's working. Probably did too many. Oh, I could have just let it evaporate, Susan. But I think that worked pretty well. So this one's kind of like ghosty prints or something. <laughs> I want to try a little, um, alcohol on there and see if that does anything. No, the alcohol didn't work. So now, you know, <laughs> Water works, alcohol doesn't. Um, she did. Um, that was one of the things I wanted to do that I didn't 
try. So let's. <laughs> I'm trying to think. She used. She did put soap bubbles. In um. In the coffee. And then another thing she did was net. Um. Trying to see if I had any netting. Oh. We'll try some of this. Um, let's take a piece of it. Scissors, scissors. Okay. Okay, now one some things she did where she just put it down and then she painted the coffee on it. But that um I don't know if this will work. I don't know how um if I'll be able to get it spread back out again. But we're gonna see. If we can get it to spread back out again, we're going to lay this on top. Let's try to spread it all out before we get it over that because it won't make a as good a print if we don't. Okay. Okay, now then, I need to set that somewhere. <laughs> Let me find something I can put that on. That it won't damage. Okay. There we go. It's a book board from a video tomorrow. The, um, the video on Tanya and my October, November the prep video for our October, November project is, um, will be up tomorrow morning. So I hope it's a good explanation. If it's not, there will be plenty of links you can go to and get better explanations. <laughs> oh, put another piece of paper on top. That's a good idea. Let's put this on top. And then we need something to hold that in place. It won't get damaged. Actually, we don't. Look at this. That looks pretty cool, huh? We're going to do book carving, Mary. We're going to do book carving. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And um, 
So it's going to take a while to do. That turned out really good. I hope that the watercolor one turns out as good. But this is the book that I'm working on. I just took the cover off of it because, well, I explained why I took the cover off in the video. But um, anyway, we're going to let that sit over here and dry. Okay. What was the other thing I was going to do? Oh, the bubbles. Okay, I have to go get some soap to do this because you can't do it otherwise. Be right back. Okay, you guys have to know how strong and brave I am. <laughs> oh, goodness, it took everything I had not to scream. And I didn't want to scream because I knew I would scare you if I did. But when I was walking from my house, I mean from the, yeah, from my house back out here to the studio, a, <laughs> a grasshopper hopped up underneath my skirt. I'm okay. It hopped right back down, but um, yeah. I don't know how much soap she put in it. Um, She said, you want the little bubbles. And my cup is too shallow. I wasn't thinking about that because you're supposed to um, pull them off the top with your paper. My bubbles may have been too small. Because they just soaked right in. Hers stayed on top. So I'm not sure what I did wrong. Mine just soaked right in. I mean, there's definitely piles of bubbles there that I leave sitting there, and then they just disappear right into the paper. I don't know if y'all can see it, but see, there's piles of bubbles. Um, 
so mine's not working um mine's not working very well but um hers were pretty good it left pretty good bubbly spots i think i could make better spots just spraying it with water <laughs> Need to spoon them? All right, let's try that. Well, then they don't want to come out of the spoon. Well, some of these bubbles are bigger than the other ones were, but at least they're staying on top. So I don't know if that's good or not, but the other one's just soaked right in. So we'll, we'll leave these setting and see what happens. I'm not, um, I'm not expecting a very positive result. <laughs> not expecting a very positive result. Okay, I think that's all of that I am ready to do tonight. Um, my brain can't think of any anything else that I want to do with it right now. So, Well, I'm glad you enjoyed my experiments. <laughs> um, there's some more paste. I'll just leave it. I may reconstitute it because I think the funnest, the painting with the paste, I really, I really liked. I really like that. So, and that's dry and it does dry shiny. She said it dries shiny and she's right. It does dry kind of shiny, but I like it. <clears throat> okay, move these things out of the way. Water and the alcohol. Hmm, jelly plate might be fun, yeah. Well, thanks, Kathy. Um, okay, I'm going to give you an option. I can spend a little bit of time working in my trip journal, or we can just call it a night. Which would you prefer? Do you have a preference? If everybody's tired, we can just call it a night. 
Oh, I'm definitely going to move the cups if we're going to do something else. If we're not, I would just leave them here because I might decide to play with it again a little bit tomorrow. But, um, but if we're going to work on the trip journal, I'm definitely moving them. Good night, Holly. I'm glad you came. Okay, Barbara and Julie say trip journal. Okay. Well, let me... Um, I've got a lot of water jars here I'm going to have to get rid of. So let me, let me take some of these out and I'll come back and get those little ones. I'm not going to re-clean them or anything. I'm just going to pour them out. So it won't take long. Now where to put those so I can remember to take them to the house later. Okay, I'll keep that one because it's. I'm going to take those things in the house later, too. Good night, Teresa. found a postcard that I was going to put in here. So I need to do that. I'll show you. Those of you who haven't seen what we did last time, we did the cover. And then we worked on some pages. These are leaves and flowers that I brought back. And I put, I Mod Podge them onto um, freezer paper with a, the white part backing of a napkin. So that gave it a little extra stability. I don't think they necessarily needed the napkin, but it's there. And so all of the flowers you see are done that way. I added a little charm that I got while I was there. And these pictures were taken with, um, well, these are scanned in copies of the Polaroids I took with Ethan's camera. He asked me to take some pictures for him, and I told him I would do that if I could take two pictures of Hannah while I was there. So this one, she's sitting on a bench in front of a river. And this one, she's looking up at this birdhouse. She calls this one her ghost picture. <coughs> and this is where we are. So I think I'm going to tip this one in. And oh, my goodness, Julie. That's expensive for one button. <laughs> Good night, Holly. Hope you're better tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to put this. Well, I may just know because I want to see because it does say Colorado Autumn Fantasy is the name of this. And you can see on the back, it's kind of a, a ghost print of that. Of this same picture. It's just a longer version. But I thought that was really pretty with the aspen trees and the rocks and everything changing colors. So, 
so guess what you're not getting yeah me either <laughs> oh good night deborah <coughs> i'm glad you came <coughs> Okay, sorry. Let me get a cough drop. <laughs> okay. Now I was going to put this in with some something. Some something. What can I use? <coughs> oh, we'll just use some of this. That'll be fun. We we'll use it like it was washi tape. You have to glue in your washi tape, so we might as well. Might as well glue in a piece of paper. This is the bag I got on the trip. Excuse me. <coughs> the candle I had lit got the this um, wick got really long, so it started smoking. So I blew it out and then it smoked even more. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let's see how long do we need this to be? Okay, it can be a little shorter than that. Well, the smoke's gone. You don't even see it anymore. It was just um, because it was right here beside me. I <laughs> I ended up breathing it all. Which was not a good plan. Okay, let's... Goodness, I'm sorry, y'all. <coughs> wow, I am so sorry. Okay, so there's that, and um, I was trying to see, oh, I wanted to put a picture of that magpie we saw, and just do a collage with him, where is he? Okay, it was three something. Other one. Is 
There we go. <laughs> well, unless they're watching the stream, they won't even know I'm coughing because they're in the house and I'm out in the studio. So I wonder though, um, because I haven't taken anything out of this book yet. Let's see if I can find a magpie in here. Um, what's it called? Black-billed magpie. Okay. Okay, well, that doesn't show it. Let's see if we've got magpie. I know it's a North American bird because we saw it in Colorado. Magpie, black build, 125. Okay. That does not, that one looks way greener. Way greener. It's funny. This one, it has some green, but it really looks so blue. Uh, this one, you can at least see the blue. I don't guess it matters. I'm going to end up using this book anyway, so. Good night, Beth. Sleep well. Okay. Now, the one we saw was the black billed one. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and cut off these. Yellow billed ones. Because they aren't pertinent. Oh. Hmm. I wasn't thinking about the fact that the words are right there with it. I think I may just kind of go around the words too. There we go. But we can't just put him on there. We have to we have to collage something. So let's see what else we got here. There's some other magazines that I bought on the trip that um that I might take stuff out of to use. Let's see. And here is a um, a bag. I got my little bowl in that I'm going to use to um, do supported spindle spinning. So we'll just take some of that. And...
Here's some of my tea dyed paper that I made while I was up there. That's interesting. That might kind of represent a rock or something. I think I may trim around it. We're going to tear it on that side. Ooh, this side's pretty, even prettier. This is where I use the chai tea over the coffee. You can see the coffee back here, and this is the chai tea, this darker stuff. Um, let me look at that again. I might. No, I'm going to use the. I'm going to use the coffee because it contrasts more with this than the chai tea does. I should be fussy tearing this instead of doing this. Okay. It would be better to have some of this back there to match with this. What do y'all think? that look good? Okay, Susan likes both papers, so. Both of these or both this one and that one? Because I could tuck a little bit of this in here too, actually. I could actually. So what do you think? Is that better? Or is it better with just these two? I'm waiting for somebody to tell me what they think. Thinking, thinking, okay. Nashua says two. Okay, she thought faster, so we're going to go with her answer. All right. I do want to ink them. And um, where is my ink? Um, <laughs> okay, Lisa. You know it's out here somewhere. Oh. I think as soon as my knee gets better. Oh, I've got too much to do to do that. But um, maybe in December, <laughs> I'm going to just take the month off from making videos. Except for maybe Monday night streams and the ones with Tanya. And I'm going to spend the rest of my time working on trying to get my studio under control. I've got, I've still got obligations in September, October, and November for other videos. But, um, hey, where did my ink go? This is ridiculous. I just had it. Oh, there it is. I was going to say this morning. I know it was here this morning. 
Okay. You're putting in comments, but they're not showing. Well, that is weird, Barbara. I do see this one. The last one I see from you is when you told Beth goodnight. Okay, I'm going to use this library green because it's kind of a bluish green. And I think it will go with the bluish green on this bird. Actually, I think I would have liked sepia better, but it's too late now. <laughs> it may get some sepia on top of the green. Hmm. I rarely don't like things green, but I wish I had just done this in sepia. But now that I've done that, we're going to go ahead and do it all. But it may all get green and sepia. Did you see your comment about the white tummy against the dark paper? Um, no. I did not. Let me go back and look, but no, I'm sorry, Barbara. I don't see it. I want to try one other thing. Okay, that's so weird. My chat is still back at that same place it was before, so I'm going to have to pop out chat again. I was hoping maybe it was fixed, but... <clears throat> right after the comment that says strange. No, it's got strange. I'm putting in comments and they're not showing. And then I see Julie and then Susan... And then you say, do you see my comment? I wonder if they're ha just having um, internet issues. You know, maybe, I don't know. I didn't realize... Of course, I'm not on Facebook right now. I mean, it's, I think I've got it open, but I'm not paying any attention to it. I'm just doing this, but. <laughs> maybe chat doesn't like the word tummy I don't know but um, she likes the white tummy against the dark paper better than just um, on top of that lighter paper Well, maybe inking around the light tummy will make it better.
boy I'm, I'm having inking issues tonight I guess I'm just tired So are y'all saying I need to go back to the three papers and not just the two? Is that what the consensus is there with the white tummy against the dark? Are you saying when I had this paper on there it was better? Okay. Thank you, Janet. Okay, we're going to put this one down. And then this one. Well, his white tummy's not going to show against that anyway. It's going to be up here we could do it like this though would that be better We're going to use this one. I've got to make it smaller. I was actually going to paint the branch on with that. Um, with my coffee. Um, my coffee paste. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying you like this edge better of the coffee paper? So is this good? And then I'll paint on the, um, I'll paint the branch. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's start with this one.
Okay, let me find something to... Okay, I need something, something. Let's put glue on. Okay. Now we will see if we can paint um, paint a branch here. Hmm. Not sure I like that. I may have to get out a pen and do some doodling to make it look more like a branch. Maybe this branch needs to be wider. I think that looks a little bit better, but it still needs some more. Okay. Luckily, I had a little bit more water left. Uh, 
Okay, so I need to write right here that we saw a magpie while we were eating lunch in Kachara on the next, he said, on the next table. While we ate lunch at, oh, what was the name of that place? Um, at the Dog Bar and Grill in Kuchara. Okay. And the Dog Bar and Grill actually lets you bring your dogs. Now, I don't know if they would let you take them inside. But we were sitting out on the patio, and there were several dogs out on the patio with us. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Got to use a little more coffee. That's good. Now, if this stays really sticky, I may end up having to cover it up, this whole thing with Mod Podge or something. They have to do something. I don't know. Ooh, Mod Podge might not be a good idea. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it will not dry sticky. But um, I need to do something over here. Something back there. I've got, let me see if I have another flower I can put back there. There's a V. Okay, there's some flowers. There's some flowers. Oh, I think these. Okay. So now I need to decide. Do I want this on there? I got this at um, one of the stores in Kachara, too. Or would it be better just to put the flower? So what do you think? Should I put the um, the gift card or just the flower? I'm going to work on getting the flower out of here while y'all are thinking about that. Okay, we'll save that one for another page. Just the flower. Okay, thank you. So this can be hiding this. That works for me. Okay. After we do this, I'm going to call it a night. Going to call it a night.
I love how well those flowers worked out. I do, I do. Okay. Well, that wasn't a whole lot, but got a little bit done. I'll work a little bit on it um, along with some other stuff on Monday nights um, till I can get finished. I don't want to wait too long. How did I do the flowers again? Okay, let me show you. Okay, I put a piece of, um, this is the plastic coated freezer paper. And I painted Mod Podge on it. Well, it's my Mod Podge glue mixture. Two-thirds two -thirds, uh, Elmer's glue all and one-third Mod Podge is what I use. Uh, Tanya uses half and half. Either one of those will work fine. Uh, Mod Podge by itself would probably work okay. But what I used was one-third Mod Podge, two-thirds glue. After I put that down, then I took the um, inside or the... Uh, let me get one and show you just so we can be very, very clear. Okay. I took the, um, and it wasn't this particular one, but the part of the back of a napkin that I had taken the napkin apart. And I, I put the Mod Podge down and then I laid this down and I put Mod Podge over the top of that. And then I laid my flowers down and they had already been pressed for about almost a week in um, between some pages in a book. Um, I laid them down and then I Mod Podged over that. So there's three layers of Mod Podge, one layer of napkin and one layer of flowers on top of freezer paper. And then when it dried, you can just peel it off. Now, my flowers weren't completely dried, so it took a lot longer for the glue to dry right behind the flowers. The leaves and everything dried real quick, but um, anyway, that's how I did it. Oh. Okay, I'm going to leave this sitting here so it can dry until tomorrow. And tomorrow we are going to be, I think we're on my channel tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow at 2 o'clock, right here, Tanya and I are going to be doing, um, we don't know what. We're going to be playing with scraps of paper, trying to use up our scraps of paper. So we may do a bunch of different stuff. We don't know. Uh, scraps that are left over from our other projects. So um, I know I have scraps of paper from quite a few projects and I'm going to put them all in the bin and then I'm going to try to use them uh, for the rest of this month. That's what we're going to do is try to use up scraps of paper. Um, oh, wow. That dried pretty quick. Wow. And it's not sticky. I'm impressed. I mean, if you really press hard on it, it's a little bit sticky, but not, not like I expected. So that's good. That worked out well. Okay. Uh, love you all. See you tomorrow at 2 right here. God bless you. Bye-bye.